If my foundation does not match my skin, get the. Hey guys, welcome back to Louis Live. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I feel like there are so many exciting things in this video. Numero uno being this the first time I like officially film in my nueva casita. Numero dos, let's address the elephant in the room. My merch, stupid. <laughs> Y'all better be hyping me up behind the scenes because I don't want to be the only one hyping myself up. I also got my uñitas done. It's been a minute. And last but not least, we have the Hip Dot X Tapatio collab. <sighs> Before we get into all the cheesement and start reviewing, in case you've been living under a piedrita and you don't follow me on Instagram or you just missed it, my merch will be launching this Friday, stupidas, at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I see you start telling your mommy, your papi, your over your hermana, everyone, tell everyone. And if your hombre doesn't want to buy it for you, cut him off, stupida. You know what? Matter of fact, send this to him. Send this to him. Ven para acá. Ven para acá, stupido. If you don't buy her, a baddest better on merch, then you're just hella jealous. You don't want her to be the baddest. You don't want her to be at her full better potential. You should be hyping her up. Así que don't be shy. Buy it for her. Show her a little present. It doesn't even have to be an anniversary or a one year, like nothing like that. Just buy it for her because you love her and you care for her. Pero look, girl, if he doesn't buy it for you, mandamelo. A mí me lo mandas, mandame un DM, and I will put up a chongo this big, and I will come for him. And not to steal him because I don't want no hombre who can't even spoil his novia. <laughs> but anyways, yes, to be that, I will be having this shirt right here. I also have hoodies and sweats. You can find more information on shop. Where's my website? You can find more information on Shop Louis Live or on my personal Instagram. Just put your little alarms on and let's be ready, stupid ass. But anyways, let me just shut the fuck up. And let's get started with this review. <laughs> From the moment that this collab came out, all of you stupidas were hella sending it to me. And even before you guys sent it to me, I already knew I had to review this stupida. We had to see if this was Perra approved. You guys already know I am obsessed. I am in love with Tapatio. I literally feel like I put Tapatio on everything and anything that I eat. And that's not for all you stupidas who are gonna be like, oh my god, loving Tapatio. But you is not a personality trainer. Oh my god, I don't even get the stupid. I love Chile, and that's the bottom line. Point blank, period. And if you don't love the Chile as much as I do, then maybe you just haven't had any good Chile. <laughs> Alright, all right, yeah, let me calm down, let me calm down. But this is the Tapatio X Hip Dot Collab. I love the cajita. Hold it, let me show you guys something. I have so many Tapatio bottles all over my house because you can never have enough Tapatio. But this is one Tapatio bottle that I will never open because that's me. Oh, me not focusing. Me jealous. The camera's me mad because she's not a tapatio bottle. That is me as a tapatio bottle. Literally me. So let's open her up. How do you open this? So this is what was inside of the tapatio PR box. This is so cute, like the PR packaging and everything. I have not opened any of these. I literally wanted to have like a little first impressions moment with you guys and like a reaction. So I believe these two are eyeshadow palettes. And then all of these are lip glosses. That is so freaking cute. Like literally, I feel like that Patio did such a good collab with this. Like this, like this is how it's done. Like I love that they still incorporated the whole Tapatio, the little Tapatio bottles, like this is so cute. Like, I want to carry this in my bag, in my makeup bag. Like, I just want to have it around with me, even just to take it out to be like... But anyways, getting off topic, they have a Chi Chi blender, and I think... I'm pretty sure this is an actual Tapatio bottle. But yes, I cannot wait to start digging into these products. You guys already know I'm going to be giving you guys the real tea, my honest opinion. And as you guys know at the end of it, it's Perra approved or if you guys should just save your dinerito. Okay, so the first thing we are going to be trying out is the Chi Chi Blender. I went to go wet it 
And let me just tell you that this grew like 10 inches bigger than what it was. Look at this. Oh, me as a chile growing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, but right off the bat, I will say that I love how the Chi Chi Blender says tapatio on it. Like, I think that is such a cute touch. But just to show you guys how big this grew, like, I wish I would have shown you guys before I took it out, but like, it won't fit back in. <laughs> Can you believe it was in that little box? Like, now it's bigger than the box. Like, it will not fit in there. So I'm going to be testing this out while I put on some foundation. You gotta shake it really good, stupid ass. If my foundation does not match my skin, get the. It's been really hard, okay, stupid ass? It's been really hard. One day it matches, one day it doesn't. So, please don't come for me. Alright, Chi Chi Blender, I have high hopes for you. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. One thing I will say about these sponge blender thinger machingers, and let me know if it's just me, but personally, I hate opening up a new sponge, no matter what brand. I just hate it because I feel like when they're fresh, they soak up so much product, like so much. But I'm actually like already really liking this, like not even to eat Tapatio's ass. Like I'm actually really surprised. Also, the foundation that I am using is super full coverage. You guys are always asking me what foundation this is. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour <gasps> Foundation. Did I mention it was by Smashbox? I absolutely love this foundation. It is so full coverage. And I actually thought that the Chi Chi Blender was gonna soak up a bunch of the producto, but it actually didn't, and it still looks really full coverage. As you guys can see, <laughs> Compare and contrast. <laughs> There's no similarities. <laughs> this Chi Chi Blender is actually really soft as well. Like, really soft on my face. It's not all like tisi candura like a bunch of other beauty blenders are. Okay, now that I look like La Llorona, we are gonna go ahead and use some concealer. I'm honestly a little scared because the Chi Chi Blender is really big. And I don't know if it's really gonna get under my eye like I want it to. Ugh, okay, that is not a problem, period. Okay, me encanta that it has a little puntita at the end of the Chi Chi Blender. Porque al principio si me dio un poquito miedo. I was like, oh my god, it is not gonna fit under here. But I totally forgot that it has a little puntita. It is literally shaped like a teardrop, like for a little chillona moment. So it fits perfect under your eye. Yes, I love that. Y ahora I'm gonna grab some translucent powder and just set everything under my ojito. Alright, perra, so I'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my carita porque right now I look a little crazy. And then we are gonna come back to review the palettes and the lip gloss. <laughs> I bet you don't even recognize me, huh? I know, I know, I know. This is the part of the video where you guys all go hide your own bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diles que se Diles que se No, 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 no. I don't want it to be jamming me later. No, no, Diles que se No, 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 no. Chica la no, no, no. But okay, now that it's just us girls. So this is the first palette. I love packaging. Like, packaging makes such a difference. Like, si o no, packaging makes the biggest difference ever, at least to me as a consumer, as a makeup lover. Let's open her, but I have no idea what she looks like, like, no idea. Ooh, okay, that is actually so pretty. Oh, me spilling a little bit. Ooh, she's giving me really hot Cheeto vibes. Ooh, and it has a mirror that is a plus, like, this is such a cute little palette that you can take with you like on a little to-go moment. We have Hot Spot, we have Flame, we have Tap That, we have Saucy, we have Sizzle, we have Caliente. Okay, all of these are really pretty colors. This is definitely what I was envisioning when I was thinking Tapatio. So now let's open up the gold palette that looks like this. A ver, a ver, a ver. Ooh, okay, they're pretty similar. Pretty similar, but definitely different tones. We have Spicy Mami, <laughs> me as a shade. We have Fuego, we have Con Limon, we have Salsa Picante, we have Drip, and we have Bonita. Okay, these shadow names, I'm living for. Like, all of the ones in here, those are good as names. 
So these are the two palettes side by side, a very warm tones, giving me like fall vibes, very everyday wear, and a little pop of color with Con Limon and the shimmers on top. Okay, so I don't want to stick to just one palette, so I think I'm going to be doing a little best of both worlds moment and going back and forth between both palettes. That way we can try both of them out. So para no meterme tanto en la cabeza and get all confused, I'm going to kind of just be choosing shades as I go. So, para empezar, I am going to begin with Bonita. That's me. So, I am going to grab a little bit with my Morphe M456. Use code Louis for 10% off in-store and online at Morphe.com. I repeat, use code Louis for 10% off in-store and online at Morphe.com. Louis, L-O-U-I-E. This is a really good pigment, as you guys can see that. I'm barely dipping into this palette because I'm scared. Honestly, guys, it's been so long since I've done my eyeshadow. Que como que ya se me olvidó. Ya se me olvidó. Ya ni sé qué estoy haciendo. I'm just painting on my lid. So I'm going to be using the shade Bonita all over my crease. My crease. Yes, Bumpy Guru. She said I'm going to be putting the shade all over my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Saucy and tap that. I'm going to be mixing both of them together with a little fluffy brush just to blend the shade out a little bit. Okay, this shade Saucy was a little too pigmented from what I was expecting. So it kind of just like took over my whole lid. <laughs> okay, and to blend those out, I'm going to be using Caliente right here. Just to really, oh me not focusing. Just to really blend out those edges. Yes. Okay, yes, that shade really just softened everything up because she was looking a little harsh. <laughs> okay, so I really wanted to do something with these glitters right here, but honestly, being completely honest. I am not the biggest fan of glitter porque I feel like it gets all over the place and it kind of pisses me off. Pero I feel like they're there and a lot of you guys want to see como se ven on the lid. So I'm going to try it for you guys. I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I'm going to put up a button and fight all these stupid ass. I will say though that I did swatch one right here and it looks insanely pigmented. And this was not with my finger, stupid ass. This was with a brush. I feel like normally brushes don't give off the best pigment when it comes to like shimmers because this is not like a glitter shade it's like literally shimmer glitter I don't even know what I'm saying so we're gonna try these out I'm so scared I don't like a glitter but whatever it's in my eye one of the reasons I don't like glitter is just because it gets everywhere especially when you think you take your makeup off at night it's still there haunting you well damn <laughs> oh maybe I do like glitter now Okay, next I am gonna go with the shade Flame to add even more glitter. This shade is a bit darker than the glitter I just used right now. So let's see if it helps us achieve like a little gradient ombre moment. If it doesn't, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh, that is actually looking pretty cool. Like, la mironeta del planeta. Okay, to start doing the finishing touches on the ojos, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sizzle. And this is just gonna help darken up everything and just bring it all together. So I'm going to be packing this on my outer corner, just like that. Don't be scared to pack a good amount. It really just brings everything to life. <laughs> not me creyendo me already, we're not even done. Oh my, I got glitter in my eye. Okay, ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí, the last step on the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with Hot Spot, which is this yellow. I have to try this yellow out, stupida. So I'm going to be grabbing a little bit and adding her to the inner corner of my ojo for a little pop of color, as if we don't already have a pop of color all over the eye. Damn, that yellow is hella pigmented. Alright, see with that. So this is my eyes all complete. I'm gonna go finish it off by putting on some lashes, some liner, all of that fun stuff. Y ahorita regreso. Alright, see with that. So the cara is almost all complete. 
The last step is the gloss. Como les había dicho, we have one, two, three, four, five different glosses. De lo que puedo ver, this is like a little nude pink. This is like a really deep red. This is a clear gloss. This is just your classic red gloss. And this one is like a little orangish with a little bit of like yellow undertones. These are, oh my God. These are so tiny. Now that I have this in my mano, like... Wait, are these even lip glosses? <laughs> this is so cute, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this little cute red one right here. Oh no, this is like a pink actually. Ooh, girl, she said pigment. I bet mean, I wanna do like this soft nude pink, at least it's what I think it is. This one's so pretty. Oh my god, and I love how these are like one swipe. Like, I bet, I bet, I bet. And for fun, let's do this orangish one. Oh my god, this one is so pretty. She's giving me very like hot Cheeto vibes. Wow. Okay, so clearly, I feel like I have a lot going on in my eyes already. I think I'm going to go with the clear gloss. Just because, like I said, I have a lot going on in my ojos and I don't want to bring even more attention to my lips. Kind of want them to be a little toned down. So I have not swatched the clear gloss. Do these have names? Oh wait, yeah. Natural. This is in the shade Natural. I'm so excited to try this out. Like if this is good, I will literally pop this in my bag every single day because look at how little this is. Like this is just so cute and easy to carry around. Let's pop her on. Hmm. Maybe I just need a little more. Oh my god, these are so tiny. Mmm. Okay, these are really tiny, so it's kind of hard to grab a lot of product on here. And with my big ol' uñotas, it's kind of hard to hold this little applicator. Period. Yes, gloss. All right, stupidas, so this is the full look all complete for fin. I'm serving you perra, I'm serving you glam, I'm serving you gonna steal your hombre. This look is so out of my comfort zone, but I'm also not mad at it. I never do glitter, I never really do shimmers, but I have to give it a try for my tapatio. I have to do it. And honestly, I'm really happy with it. I think it's such a nice pop of color. The inner corner también. All right, before I continue talking about how pretty and beautiful I look, let's get into reviewing these products and really telling you my honest opinion. So como ya saben, I am in love, I am obsessed, and I will forever be obsessed with Tapatio. So to start off, we have the Chi Chi Blender. This Chi Chi Blender grew a lot bigger than what I expected it to be, but I'm not mad at it. It did a pretty good job of covering my whole entire cara. I'm just so used to smaller beauty blenders that this was honestly pretty big, but it's super soft. It doesn't feel super tiesa. It wasn't hard on my cara. It blended out everything really nicely. I actually really liked this beauty blender. Just the fact that it's a step at the yo is gonna make me feel like that bitch when I do use it. Next, we have the pad. All right, stupid as you already know, these performed really, really well. Like the pigment was there, it was really nice. Like obviously, look at my inner corner, like that yellow. I have never used a more pigmented yellow. The two shimmer shades were also really, really nice. Like I said, I don't really like glitter that much. Pero they worked really well that it actually made me be like, ooh, maybe I do like glitter now. Y como pueden ver, they were really pigmented. Les dije that I applied this with a brush, not even my finger. I know a lot of times brands or people are like, you know, use your dedito to get a little more pigment, but like, I didn't use my dedito and I got a lot of pigment. Imagine this in your bag, like it's so cute and it has a mirror. You have like essential shades and then like pops of color. Same thing with this palette. If you're up for something fun and you just want a cute little palette in your bag or like a little go-to or just your collection, I definitely say 
buy this. So the palettes were a yes for me. I loved both of them. As for the glosses, I absolutely love the concept of these glosses. I love that they did minis and I love that they kept the shape of the bottle. It just adds so much to it. But although they are super cute, I will say that they were not the most comfortable to use. I just think it is a little too many. Like, Talking about the applicator, like it is just so, like my nail is bigger than this. Look at that. I just think it is so small. It was a little uncomfortable to hold. Maybe it's because of my uñas. I just wish they were a little bigger. And I did have to dip in here quite a few times to get some sort of gloss. But with all that being said, I definitely loved this collection. I loved all of the products. I had a lot of fun with these. And if you are down to have fun with maquillaje, I would definitely say buy them. Like to me, this is definitely a collection that I'm going to remember. And I just think it's super fun. And if you guys do end up buying these products, I hope you enjoy them just as much as I did. But yeah, so with that, that's it for this week's video. And I'll see you guys next time I upload. Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to buy my merch. Friday, 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.